Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Pastor Matt here with your Daily RPM. This week we're talking about what's in your hand. Yesterday we talked about that prophetic awesome question that God asked Moses. Moses was saying, Lord, I can't. I don't know how. I, I'm not good enough. And God said to Moses, what's in your hand? And, you know, when we're coming to God and we have these dreams and things we want to do and God's tapping us on the shoulder and saying he has great things for us, many times the miracle is already in your hand. Jesus, this, this is one of my favorite stories in the Bible. Jesus is teaching 10,000 people there. And he realizes, hey, I've taught a long time. These people are hungry. Let's give them something to eat. The disciples said, we don't have any food. And Jesus made an awesome statement. He said, what do you have? And they said, well, we've got five, fi or five loaves of bread, two fish. But what good is this among so many? But Jesus said, bring what you have to me. And so they did. And Jesus did an awesome miracle and multiplied the fish and the loaves to feed the 10,000 with 12 baskets left over. When we take what's in our hand, you may be facing a bill today. You may be facing a desire or a dream that just seems like you're never going to get there. But if you're waiting for the finished product, it's never going to come. What we have to do, the way faith works is what's in your hand take what's in your hand and make it useful for the kingdom and that activates laws of faith and god gets involved god can't bless and multiply zero but if all you have is a widow's two mites if all you have is a staff of moses if all you have is two fish and five loaves that's enough i'll see you tomorrow god bless you if you like this video, like and share, and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.